Hi everybody, just a quick haul video um, from bluemoonscrapbooking.com and from joanne.com. And what I got from Blue Moon Scrapbooking was Unity Stamp, one of Susie Blue stamps. Hi Susie, love you girl. And I um, love your stamps too. I love the size of these. This one's called Pretty Girl. And she looks like that. I don't know if you can see, my camera's terrible. And I also have another one. It's um, Spring Flower Chick. That's what that one looks like. So cute. So I can't wait to color them up with my Copix. I got this cute little Prima stamp. If you can see, I like, there's a little tiny bird with gears. It's kind of steampunkish. I like that. And a little dragonfly um, border. I don't even know if you could see it because it's so tiny. I got the Butterfly Garden Collection Charms. Love it by Pink Paisley. Love dragonflies. I also got the stamp set that goes with the collection. Dragonfly. And I got the 6x6 six six papers. I also got the 12x12. 12 12. I'm not going to pull the 12x12s 12 out. I got um, two of each of the 12x12. 12 12. The Blue Moon Scrapbooking. But I think you guys have all seen these papers. And the 6x6 six six are not double-sided. There's two of each. Dragonfly! It's like a postcard. Really pretty paper. I'm glad I got the 12x12 12 12 also. With this order. It's like a distressed cracked green. This one's really pretty too. Butterfly. And I'm sure this is one of Arlene's favorite collections. It's pretty. It's got a little fairy. Love this one. You can cut that up. Especially with the 12x12 12 12 stack. And they have great prices. The 12x12 12 12 papers are 75 cents a piece at bluemoonscrapbooking.com. So go check them out. Okay, so that's that. I just like getting the 12x12 12 12 and the 6x6 because the 6x6 is nice for cards. I'm doing little projects. And I have a problem with cutting into my 12x12 12 12 papers. Let me show you what I mean. I have this tote filled to the brim with Graphic 45 paper and Prima paper and Webster's Pages paper. And here's my Butterfly Garden paper I got on top because I just bought that. And that's the paper. I like opening up the container and sniffing it because <laughs> it smells so good in there with all the paper. I also got some black golden gesso, which um, they do sell golden products at Blue Moon Scrapbooking. Um, I got this Prima Lace. You can see it. Oh, I got a knot in it. Figures. I don't want knot in our lace. Come on. Sorry, guys. Get a spot where it's not all. It looks like that. It's really pretty. And then I got this one. This kind of reminds me of little flowers. I think that's what it's supposed to be. And I believe that's it for my Blue Moon scrapbooking haul. And with my Joann's, I got a bunch of shrink film. I haven't played with Shrinky Dink since I was a kid. So I want to make little charms and do fun little things. I want I'm dying to do what a lot of people have been doing with the Tim Holtz dies, Sizzix dies, and all the other Sizzix dies with cutting it and um, putting it in the oven. I got a little um, toaster oven I can use. I guess you can also use your heat gun. And I'm wondering how thin this is because I might even be able to cut it with my Cricut. I'll give that a try and let you guys know. Um, I got two packages of the clear and it's by Graphics and Joanne.com had them on um, sale when I purchased them. This one's a little more pricey. It's a graphics inkjet shrink film in clear. You can use it with your inkjet printer. Oh, you can also um, emboss them, which is really neat. It says trace, color, stamp, print, die cut, punch, emboss, and paint. Wonderful. 
and I got two of them at. So I got that. And the only other thing I got at joanne.com was three of the um, crackle mediums. And I couldn't wait to get my package, so I ended up buying an eight ounce of the crackle medium at um, A. Seymour. But I got a ton of crackle medium. I got this plus a big one. And for those of you that doesn't that don't know what the crackle medium does, is it gives an effect that looks like this. You paint your base coat, which is you generally want in a darker color, and then you let it dry. You put the crackle medium on, you let it dry, and then you put a contrasting color top coat on, and you'll see it crackle immediately. It's really awesome. So I'm working on that box for my mom. Had to bust out the Mariposa paper that I hoard. I have a ton of, but um, that's it for today. And again, hi, Susie. Thank you again for coming out with your wonderful stamps. And I'm really going to enjoy coloring them. And I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Bye, everyone.